Okay, we're on the north side of the garage. This is the electric service panel. We have a slip joint right here. Um, the box should have been sealed on three sides to help prevent moisture from getting into this stucco wall system right here. That's what we should have had. And we've got a nice slip joint down there. That's a nice feature. We have one grounding rod. Okay, we should have two grounding rods within six feet. And I'm just not, I'm just not seeing it. Okay, so that's the electric meter. The box should have been sealed on three sides. Coming along in here is the main electric service panel. Load center, breaker box, call it what you will. Here's the second panel. Some people call it the sub panel. Call it what you will. This GFCI was tripped before I got here. Will not reset. So these receptacle outlets are inoperable, including the exterior receptacle outlets are on the same circuit. But this is the main service panel right here. L1 and L2 coming in. Okay, they should have protective rubber booties on them to keep you from shocking. If you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that. And get this, they're not required over here. Not yet. Not yet. All right, this is the main neutral coming into the home. See that tape? I wrapped it like four times. It's not supposed to be four times in a row. Okay. Bonding cable not properly identified, wrapped. Okay, so it's supposed to be four times like thick. Now, if you don't know that's the main neutral going into the house, if you don't know that, then, you know, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that. If you don't know those are hot, I get that too. Okay. But it's supposed to be wrapped. I didn't make the rules up. Okay, these white hots coming in here. This supposed to be wrapped with black tape. This supposed to be wrapped with black tape. That's supposed to be wrapped with white tape. If you don't know, shame on you. Cables are not supposed to be in direct contact with the cabinet cover. Okay. Cabinet cover is not supposed to have more than an eighth of an inch gap. Okay. Debris is not supposed to be inside the cabinet, nor is paint inside the cabinet. Now, I, I get it. I'm not seeing any paint on the bus so you're probably not going to have any ill effect because of this paint the code says no paint inside of cabinet no debris that's more of a danger inside of cabinet shouldn't have a gap there's another thing is this cabinet these cabinets okay they were screwed into place the manufacturer's installation instructions shows a picture of a hammer and a nail i'll give you screws do not have the same lateral shear strength okay that nails do if this garage was to experience a tornado or something like that and they got blowed up i get it you've already got a bad day but if these things pop out like a pimple and then the first responder is going to, have to be stepping over the sparky box to come in and do you some good because the main disconnects all the way inside you don't have a disconnect on the exterior it wasn't required when this home was built so they have to come all the way in this is stuck to a board, for example, you know, you had some lumber, it might just be a little more, okay, a little, um, just an ounce of precaution, just an ounce of precaution. Statistical relevance? I don't know. I've yet to have a client come back and tell me, it says, you know, I hate discounting my work, but I've yet to have a client come back and say, hey, bud, you know those screws. Glad you caught that. You did me a solid. Okay. No, it doesn't happen. So, what's also happening in here, and there's both of these, is called bundling. And even the illustration I use inside my inspection report is baked inside of your inspection report, excuse me. Um, it's somewhat apologetic, but no, they're not supposed to be bundled. That's what all these little folds are for. Not supposed to bring more than two cables in at a time. It's called the skin effect. And the skin effect because it's heat, you know. So then it has to be derated and all those kinds of things. So we've got bundling. We have AFCI in the bedrooms only. Art fault prevention. And when this home was built, that's the only place that they were required. And this home is occupied. And it's got dogs in it. So we're not going to test... And I, that goes, I'm going a little far. I'm getting ahead of myself. But we're not going to test the AFCI. Okay? We're just going to look for the uh, presence of it because the house is occupied. And because we got dogs inside the house, out of respect to the dog's ears, we're only going to inspect the smoke alarms for their locations. This is kind of jumping ahead of myself. But where are we at here? We got debris, we got paint, we already talked about that. We got white hots, we got screws, cabinets 
uh, more than an eighth of an inch in is screwed in like I said uh, we've got bundling we do not have the protective covers for L1 and L2 bonding location is not wrapped with with tape and also this is this is called handwriting okay handwriting it's, this is called printing we're gonna see where it says cutler hammer that's called printing Eaton cutler hammer the code and the manufacturer thinks that this should be hand printed instead of handwritten how about that and they're not they're they're handwritten I mean, is the house going to burn down because you hand wrote AC in there? I doubt it, you know. But, you know, I didn't make this stuff up. Now, here's another thing. Manufacturer's installation instructions supersedes. They require duplicity. And we do not have duplicity either. So we learned that we don't have duplicity. We learned that our cabinets are hand labeled. We learned that our um, breakers, uh, circuits were hand labeled. We learned that our cabinets were installed with screws we learned that we got a half an inch ca gap we learned that we got debris and paint inside of the cabinets i thought this one had more paint in it that does look there there's some paint we learned that we've got bundling we learned that l1 and l2 don't have protective booties we learned that we got white hots we learned that our neutral our main neutral is not properly labeled 